I guess what I want to do is look at so so there's there there are two kinds of one of the ways I couldn't organize the talk the talk and one of the ways I was starting to organize the talk was about sort of prepared foods and preserved foods as opposed to food items right so potatoes and apples are you generally I mean, you cook with them you do things to them but you don't and and you can you can you know sour them and ferment them and you know preserve them in different ways but but she is not an item by itself right it's not a food item it is necessarily concocted um, and so one of the, the um, funny things that happens one of the arguments that I make in, in my article on cabbage is that um, especially William Bachjokin who is this culinary writer of the 60s and 1960s and 70s and 80s until he dies his murder shockingly in 2000 um, talks about she as being um, as personifying all that's great about Russia because it combines, it, it's, it's just, oh, I wish I, I actually get the quote, it's just like Russia because it combines native things with imported things and it brings them together in this wonderful new creation that shows how open and inclusive and sort of embrace, all embracing Russians are. They take the, the mushrooms from their forest and uh, you know, the sour cream and they, and they combine them together. So he, he, he parses it out. They have six major ingredients, three of which are home and three of which are from afar. Um, and it's kind of interesting, yeah. you know, that, that this, it, it turns into, I would say, uh, so it's interesting that, that you're making this. I, well, that goes I, I'm interested. Question. Yeah, well, this question about patriotism versus nationalism in the Russian context, um, in, an, in a really. No, it's, it's it's tricky. I think it's tricky um, because again, so uh, one of the things the Vilengenes do in their book is that they they it's a very Soviet book. You know, they've emigrated, they've left the Soviet Union, but it's a very Soviet book, and they insist on saying, you know what? Ask a, ask a Russian about uh, say the word Aragvi to a Russian, he'll begin to cry. Right? Um, these these Armenian foods, these Georgian foods, these are our foods. This is our tradition. So there's this kind of absorptive quality about it, which I also think is a little bit uh, nationalistic. But I just but I meant it just in the sense yeah. that every single example that you gave was a patriotic one to me. You mm -hmm. know, with mm -hmm. something generative, positive, and clearly identifying. Yeah, yeah. Na nationalism tends to work more by insinuation to me of what people don't have and why people don't belong and why they're on the borders of some of it. And that, I just okay. didn't see okay. that. So yeah, that yeah. Was, well, certainly, I think. I mean, again, so this question of class is, is absolutely huge, and um, you know, Sergei is um, is punching above his weight in dating Vera, and he realizes that um, that she is uh, a a much wealthier woman than he is. Uh, he, she is not sort of because she's the potato and he's the class, right? I mean, she's wearing the potatoes. She's owning the potatoes. She yeah, yeah. Potatoes. Anyway, yeah, but potatoes are are also, uh, you know, potatoes belong to him. She has appropriated his potatoes, you know, because that that's what his mother was out there digging. And you know, yeah. his mother's equation of I was digging potatoes, they were digging trenches, right? This is part of that again that that Soviet rhetoric of we all won the war, right? we all won the war together, and we all survived together. Just, sorry, one last thing. Um, I can't remember the name of the Moscow celebrity chef, mm -hmm. might have been the one that you were talking about, Katie, mm -hmm. who has Maxim. Uh, I think it has something rabbit in the name of the restaurant. White rabbit. White rabbit, White rabbit right. Mm -hmm. um, and there's one of these American chef shows has done a piece mm -hmm. on him. And, and is his name Sidlikov? Is that his last name? I think it's, isn't it Sidlikov? No, I don't no. think it's that. There is a... Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. But anyway, no, I know he's it on. is absolutely saturated with croissant I mean, it is the most... Yeah, I guess it's food patriotism, but it is so, so saturated with croissant right. Like, well, we might not have had white sauce, but we have potatoes, but we have this, but we have that. And at the same time, he's locked in an edible struggle with his father 
who is also a chef, but back in uh, somewhere near the Caucasus. So it, it could be interesting for mm -hmm. you to look at it. Absolutely. And I don't think it was just what got done to it in this American show. I think that that's what the guy is like, you know? Yeah. No, I've read a little bit about it, but I know I, I keep meaning I'm bad about watching television. Yeah. Is it Gillian Zayas? Or what is it? I can't remember the name of the, the restaurant. Yeah, it's anyway. It's called White Rabbit. It's called White yeah. Rabbit. It's just called yeah. White Rabbit in mm -hmm. English. In English. Okay. Yeah. In English? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but it's all about taking yeah. your grand, your babushka's um, village food and making it incredibly fancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And in tiny little portions, mm -hmm. which is so, so and, and very expensive. expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and apparently very good. This is what I've heard. Yeah, I, I, I'll have to get a grant or something and get over there. Yeah. <laughs> No, we have um, the, you know, I'm trying to think of her name. Who's the woman who's running the um, the Soviet restaurant in oh. Portland? Yeah. She's coming to Ohio State next week, and oh. she's going to do a, a demo class. Uh, so it's going to be fun to go and see her. Uh, and that's another interesting yeah. aspect, this question of of what, and again, so, so these people are eating those potatoes delightedly, but they're also playing with them, and, and that's, a, a different attitude than than the Soviet, the real, true Soviet attitude. So again, this film, I, I think that, that you know, it, I, I have to find the original cut if I can find it anywhere and see what what got taken out. But the there, it's it's definitely it's very rich, but it's very complex. I think, and I don't know whether he resolved all of the things that he was going to do. But it's fun. It's definitely yeah, fun. it's a great topic. Thank you so yeah. much. Then please uh, join me again and thank you, Mr. Speaker. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Please, and you're kept the time and very kind of way, too. Oh, I know. Well, I'm supposed to. Well, I'm supposed to. I, I, that's one of my things. <laughs>